Hey everyone, think you're pretty good with computers? All right, take this digital literacy quiz and let's find out. We use technology every day, but have we become a little too trusting, too complacent, too naive? Maybe. In a world with more sophisticated computer scams, realistic image enhancements, convincing fake news stories, and hacks and privacy issues, we really need to think a little bit more critically about the world around us. Watch this video about a real world scenario. The first minute will explain everything that's going on. And then a hundred questions will pop up to test your digital literacy. You get one point if you know the answer. You can give a specific, precise answer, maybe with examples, because you've done it before, you have the experience. You get half a point if you kind of know. So you can give a general answer, but you don't know exactly how it's done, but you kind of know how it's done. And you get zero points if you're not sure right now. Each question will be up for seven seconds. You may want to pause the video or watch it several times in order to be able to answer all the questions. Remember, this is just for fun. If you score close to 100, it just means you know some stuff about computers, but it doesn't mean you can't be tricked or scammed. Likewise, if you score close to zero, it just means that there are still things to discover about technology, but it doesn't mean you will be tricked or scammed. All right, let's watch the video. You get one point if you know the answer, you get half a point if you kind of know the answer. Here we go. Hi everyone, it's Mike from EduCircles. Yesterday I did an online live stream video of a gift card giveaway and the question now is did I cheat in that gift card giveaway? And uh, for this challenge, did I cheat? Again, there's $500 in TPT gift cards, so teachers feel free to teach this free lesson and uh, enter the draw and see what happens. Critical thinking is when you analyze facts and evaluate an issue to make an informed opinion. So part of this is having facts, being full-minded, and trying to make sure that we make a decision based on high quality information instead of a quick decision based on limited facts. I'm going to give you more information about how I give the gift cards away. But if you're trusting me to give you all the information you need, you might be missing something big. Independently looking for more high quality information is part of the game. It's part of critical thinking. Here's how I buy the gift cards. I'm going to buy it right now and you have to decide whether or not I cheated in this process. Now before we begin, you might be wondering if this is legit. I mean, where do I get the money to give hundreds of dollars to random strangers? Great question. If I show you my dashboard, uh, this month I've made uh, $1,100 American, but if I show you my entire all-time uh, store income, you can see that on Teachers Pay Teachers, I've made around 21,000 US dollars selling teacher resources. So I'm very fortunate and very happy and blessed to be able to make this money. Uh, and I wanna give back to the community. So I used to be a grade eight classroom teacher. I don't do that anymore. Life happens. Uh, so part of my income, 10% of all of my income, I donate to student mental health organizations. Um, and I wanna give back to the teachers. So if you're a teacher who wants to make the world a better place, if you're a teacher who believes in the growth mindset and strategy-based learning, if you feel that technology and social justice issues are important, you're my people. I wanna connect with you and I wanna help you out and I wanna give you TPT gift cards that you can spend on any resource on Teachers Pay Teachers uh, to get what you need for your classroom. Okay, let's look back at yesterday's live stream video drawing to see who won the $100 gift card. Here's a link. Click this final round button. Whoever's in first place will win a $100 TPT gift card, and the second and third place winners will win a $50 TPT gift card next. Here we go, I'm pretty excited. Kind of nervous here, I'm gonna hit the red button, and it's Katie! Katie just won $100. All right, so we can stop it there. So Katie needs to get a $100 TPT gift card from me. Uh, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna go to Teachers Pay Teachers. TeachersPayTeachers.com. There we go. Okay, let's buy some gift cards. Click on the gift cards. I've logged in already. Let's scroll down here. I'm going to change this to $100 uh, from Mike at EduCircles.org. And then I just am going to copy Katie's email information and name just so that I have a record of this as well. Uh, I'm going to print this off at home. Quantity one, right? Uh, 
And then the uh, this is the uh, edgycircles.org who is invisible March 2021. I like to write down the uh, the contest or whatever it was. All right, so I'm going to add that to my cart. Uh, that's the first one. Add the cart. Okay, now I'm going to buy another one. And uh, oddly enough, Teachers Pay Teachers doesn't let me go back easily to the gift card page, so I'll click here again. To the home page, I'll click on gift cards. I will scroll down. I'm going to print this at home. So I get a PDF. Here's a $50 gift card. I'm going to buy one. This time it's going to go to Emily. There's uh, this teacher's name and email address. Uh, and again, I'm going to put edgy circles. Who is invisible March 2021. Okay, I'll add that to the cart. So I have two of them so far. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to buy another gift card. Here we go, gift cards. This is the last one I'm buying today. I'm going to print this at home. It's going to be for 50 American dollars. And again, this one here is for Sarah. Copy their email address. And then I'll just change the order here really quickly. And this is for the Edgy Circles Who is Invisible, March 2021. All right, and I'm going to add that to my cart. So let's just double check this. I'm buying $200 of uh, gift cards. The top winner, let's just double check here, was Katie. She wins first place, which is a $100 gift card. And then Emily and Sarah both win $50 gift cards. And I'm doing it as PDFs so that I can email them myself. Uh, let's go to the secure checkout. I'll buy this right now. All right, and then I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna pay with my PayPal account. Let's do this. Let's log in. go through some security. We're going to pay with PayPal. So TPT pays out with PayPal. So I can just use my earnings from my PayPal account that gets my TPT earnings. Uh, I'm hit continue. So I've now paid and I'm going to submit the order. Boom. And I now have three gift cards to send to people. Fantastic. Okay. Let's download uh, Katie's grand prize. There we go. Uh, and I'm just going to add Katie, who is invisible, March 2021, $100 USD. There we go. This is going to be her code, by the way. Alrighty. So let's just send her an email. Uh, Katie is right here. I'm going to reply to Katie. Uh, I do have a message already copied from somewhere else. So here's what it says. It says, oops. Hi, Katie. Thanks for participating in the Edgy Circles Who is Invisible March. Hi Katie, thanks for participating in the Edgy Circles Who is Invisible March 2021 TPT gift card giveaway. You won! I attached the $100 gift card uh, coupon code as a PDF. And I'll paste the code in here. Oops. Um, I will have to get the code again. There's the code. So I'll just copy that. All right. There's the code. Okay, so let's attach the PDF with the gift card code. There it is, there's Katie's. Oops, why did it disappear? That's awkward, all right, here we go. 
Uh, and then the gift card code is there. Feel free to use the gift card on any product on TPT. The goal of the giveaway is to help teachers like yourself. It does not have to be spent on one of my resources, although everything in my TPT store will be on sale next week. And then I have some information and some links here about authenticity and transparency, uh, as well as more information about did I cheat the next contest. All right, so I've attached it. There's the attachment. And I have the code in there. Uh, and I will just change the subject um, to Who is Invisible gift card voucher, $100 grand prize. Fantastic. I am going to schedule this email so that it goes out later today. Uh, I'm going to send it out at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to schedule that send. All right. So that's the first one. All right. The next winner was, uh, oh, if I go back to the thing here, uh, Emily won next. And it's kind of funny because this is the order that they actually submitted their answers. Okay. So Emily, uh, order receipt. Here you go. There's Emily's. I'm going to download the PDF. It's downloading. I'm going to add Emily, uh, who is invisible, March 2021, 50 USD, right, fantastic. And then I can see the code there, so I'm going to copy that, and we'll save that. Uh, go back here, where's my conversation thread with Emily? Um, there it is. I'm going to reply to Emily, I'll just paste the code here for a second. I'm going to copy my generic message so that everyone gets the same information. Move it up to the top here. Uh, hi, Emily. Uh, and then here's her code, which I will paste right here. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to add her PDF. So there's Emily's PDF. Alrighty. And if I scroll down here, I can see that it's added and everything else is the same. Oh, I'm gonna change the subject of this message. So let's edit the subject, and I'm gonna change it to the same message for consistency, uh, $50. Uh, okay, so this is it. Hi, Emily. I have the code. I've attached the PDF, which I can see right there. Fantastic. I'm going to schedule the send, and again, I'm gonna schedule it for today at 5 p.m. Alrighty. And now I'm going to do the last one, which is Sarah's prize. I'm going to download Sarah's prize. Uh, Sarah, who is invisible, March 2021, 50 USD. Save that to my computer. I'm going to go find my email from Sarah. There we go. And then I'm going to reply to Sarah. Here we go. I will copy the general message I'm sending to everyone. Move up to the top here. Let's add her PDF. So there's Sarah. And I also see that here's the code. So I'm going to just put it into the email so she doesn't have to open any links. If she doesn't want to, let's open that. So Sarah. And then I have uh, the gift card code. Put it in there. All right, and uh, hi, Sarah. There we go. So again, I'm going to change the subject heading just so it stands out. There we go. And $50. Edgy circles. All right. Uh, and looks good. Um, uh, let's put this on a new page or a new line. Okay, there we go. And I will schedule this send to go out today uh, Friday, March 26th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So, did I cheat? You have to decide. Uh, and teachers, more information about this challenge is posted on my Edgy Circles uh, Teachers Pay Teachers store, which of course you can get to by going to Teachers Pay Teachers and just typing Edgy Circles. There I am. And the who is, uh, or did I cheat that challenge? will be right here in the right hand corner. Um, right now it has who's invisible. Again, thanks so much for watching. If this is the kind of stuff that you're interested in, please follow and like the video and we will see you next time.
Have a great day. All right, how did you do? What was your score? Remember, technology is constantly changing and evolving. Clickbait, scams, tricks and fake news are improving as well. And we can improve our digital literacy and how well we use computers with time, practice, and a growth mindset. Media literacy and information communication technology or digital literacy, it's more than just being able to use a computer. It means we can understand digital texts and think critically about them. We understand the forms, conventions, and techniques behind these media forms. We don't just consume content, but we create content and we reflect on media literacy skills and strategies. Teachers, for more information about 21st century learning, check us out at educircles.org. See you next time.